everyone, it's Sarah, and it's day three of the book a thon Okay, so day three of book a thon and I've already finished one book, so I'm pretty excited about that. So I listened to Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Madsen on audiobook, and I absolutely loved it. And it's cool because I tweeted about it, and uh, Morgan Matson actually favorited my tweet. So I was pretty excited about that because I'm a nerd. Anyway, so I thoroughly enjoyed that one. I've also read about a third of Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. I am expecting to finish this one either today or tomorrow, hopefully. And I like this one so far. I mean, it kind of took me a minute to get into it. It kind of started a little slow for me, but I really enjoyed the narrative style and the language and the whole, you know, world of Neverland and Jodie Lynn Anderson's kind of take on it. So Amy and Roger's Epic Detour was the last book that I acquired challenge. And Tiger Lily is a book that I really want to read. And then I thought I would listen to another audiobook at the same time because I always like to kind of have one audiobook going and one physical book. So this wasn't on my TBR, but I am also listening to The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. This is the Someone's Favorite Book Challenge. Sarah Ella has been raving about this book for a while, so I wanted to check it out because of that. But I'm sure it's also a favorite for many others. So I'm not very far into that one. I'm about an hour and a half into it. But I'm really liking it so far. I like the way that it's set up. And the audiobook is interesting because there are different narrators and different actors working on it. So that's kind of cool. I also have this groovy uh, grumpy cat bookmark that says, Shut up, I'm reading. So the video challenge for today was to make a book tower. Now this doesn't have to be an actual tower, it could just be like any kind of object made out of books, like you could do like a castle or like a different kind of building or whatever. So I decided that since I just read Amy and Roger's Epic Detour that I would make the car that they were driving across the country in. Now, I don't have the best, uh, you know, architectural <laughs> skills, so I decided to kind of put my own spin on it that I would use books that reminded me of Amy and Roger's Epic Detour. So this is actually my car. Now, it kind of looks like a fort as well as a car because I feel like the car became really home to them and you can see the little wheels that I put on it and we've got monologues for young actors because Amy is an actress. She's come undone and things fall apart which I thought kind of related to her at the beginning of the novel and some various plays to kind of fill in because she is a big theater person. So then we've got the play How I Learned to Drive by Paula Vogel, which I thought was really relevant to Amy in this. In the middle we've got the walls around us in Love Letters to the Dead. Then we've got Reasons to be Pretty by Neil LeBute. That is another play and it just kind of reminded me of Amy and we've got some sunglasses there in the front seat. Alright, so that's pretty much how Booktubeathon is going for me so far. How about you? How are you guys doing? I wasn't able to participate in the video challenges on day one and day two, but I really thoroughly have been enjoying watching all of you and your Domino's book challenge, as well as your scene reenactments. So tomorrow I'm going to have my writing tip video up, and then on Friday I'm doing my Friday 5 video up, which is going to be the 5 favorite music videos. So it is possible that I could do the video challenges or book 2 and thought updates on those days as well, but I'm not sure. 
I plan on doing a wrap up at the end. Until next time, thanks for watching. I can tell there's something good.